Can we try you up? Uh, it's too early to wake me up. Today I came to show you how to grow crops. Would you like to learn? Yes. Now let's go out to your fields. The area of ground where we stand on is called a field. You can grow eight crops in each field. The area needed to grow one crop is one square. Growing crops in the field goes like this. Tilling, sowing, then watering. When crops grow ripe, you harvest them. Till using your hoe, use seeds for sowing, and then your watering can to water. I'll give you your farming tools now. Thank you. Cardo tools and seed, yay! You can equip these tools from your bag screen. Right, it's easy to equip a tool. Just press the R button, give it a try. Use the Y button to put an equipped item you're carrying back in your bag. Now I'll explain the process of growing crops in detail. Watch. The first step is to till the field. Use your hoe for that. The highlighted square will be tilled when you use your hoe. Use this indicator till the squares is uh, use this indicator to till the squares that you want. After tilling comes sowing. One bag of seeds is enough for four squares. Oh, that's new. When majority, just about all the harvest moons, uh, when you plant seeds, it fills a three by three square. Uh, and, uh, basically filling out um, nine squares total. In this one, it's only four. That's kind of... I don't know how I feel about that. But if you sow seeds like the picture on the right, the seeds won't sow in all four squares, so be careful. To remove seeds, use the hoe. Now fill the watering can from the watering spout and water the crops. Crops must be watered every day until they are ripe. When you water on sunny days, the water will dry up after a few hours. Then you should water again. Watering twice a day makes your plants grow faster. Try it so you can harvest sooner. But normally you can get away with just um, watering once a day. Oh, you can, you can plant rice in regular fields? That's cool. And the crops... Once the crops have ripened, as this picture shows, you can harvest. Most crops are harvested by hand, but some are harvested with a sickle. Read seed descriptions to see if the crop can be harvested by a sickle. Or should be harvested by a sickle. And that's the process of growing crops. I can explain to you how crops wilt and die. Want to hear it? Yes. Alright, look here. If you forget to water your crops for a day, they will wilt like this. If you water wilted crops, they recover, but if you skip watering for a few days, the crops will die. So water your plant like, oh, now that I like. Like, it gives you a one, one to two day, one to two leeway, one to two days of leeway to um, recover your crops, because in the other games, you just miss one day of watering and your crops wilted, and if your crops wilted, that's it, they're done, they're dead. But in this one, you can cover them. I kind of like that. That's good, because if uh, some days, if it's a storm, you can't water your crops, that, that, that'd be good. Some crops only grow at certain times. You can harvest them right up to the change of season, but watch out, ones that aren't finishing growing will die. Clear away dead crops with your sickle, then plant new crops. By the way, you can buy fertilizer from the store to improve the quality of your crops. Kind of put it on the crops once a day and see what happens. You can also refer to your bookshelf for the info I just told you. You can grow all sorts of stuff here on the farm. Not only vegetables, but also fruit, flowers, and herbs. There are many varieties, so try growing as many as you can. That covers produce. You can make your own plants for the land and just enjoy growing whatever you like. Hopefully pineapples in the game, they can make lots of money. 
What's that? You want to know exactly what you should be doing? I didn't say that. <laughs> There's no need to think too hard about it. Just do whatever you like. Whatever, whenever you like. That's, I like that motto. This is your life. Find something you want to do and do it. If you really want advice from me, I'll suggest start by growing produce in your fields for a while. You're here to run the farm, so grow things, ship them out, and make money. Once you've made enough money, you'll also be able to keep animals on your farm. Then you'll really be farming. You can also ship out items or bugs that you collect in order to make some money. Use this to make some additional petty cash. I'll suggest interacting a little with wild animals. Animals like produce, after all. Try giving them some of his feed. That's all the advice I got for you. I hope it helped. Glad to hear it. I better be get going on. <laughs> well, uh, I better be. <laughs> I better be getting on anyway. Good luck, Dry. Ah, oh, tongue twister. I don't look too happy about it. We gotta do work now. We can't slag off anymore. Today is day one of your official new life as a farm owner. Here we go. So where to get started? Well. Okay, good. Yeah, and your menu time doesn't flow. That's good to know. All right, I got one thing, potato seeds, turnips, and that's really it. All right, let's, let's grab this guy. Now, in Harvest Moon games, if you charge your hoe, you can it'll be more powerful. But it looks like you can't charge it. So, let's start off with I don't want to do too much because cause I have low grade tools it takes longer to do all the work so more time is wasted trying to do stuff uh, let's grab potato This is nice and easy to do that. Nope. Keep forgetting how to do that. Uh, let's grab some turnips. Let's plant some of you. Plant some of you. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to be ambitious, and so I'm going to plant... See, it's it's weird because because this one you can only you throw four four seeds at once. See now other yeah I'm used to other harvest moons where you throw down seeds you can pl it throws down nine at a time. Whereas well, this one's only four at a time. Ah, uh, shop's not open yet. All right, well. Oh, I still can't charge it. Now, this is kind of theoretic. Theor theoretic? Theor this is kind of relaxing after, after a nice cruddy day at work. Just planting, growing crops. Sure I could plant real ones, but kinda too lazy for that. Alright, I need to go buy I don't, I want 
three things of turnips and three fields of potatoes. More crops means more money. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, 15 minutes, really? Ugh. Let me in, 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 let me in. There we go. Okay. Welcome to the general store. How can I help you? You can sell me some stuff. Now do you have seeds? Yeah, you do. What is this? It's a flower that grows well in spring. Harvest it to five to seven days after sowing. You can only harvest it once. Grass seed. I can sell grass seeds. Can harvest with sickle two days after sowing for one month. I wonder if grass... See, other games, you can plant grass and it grows indefinitely, even if you harvest it, but I'm not sure if this one does so or not. I could plant flowers, but you don't make money that way. So... Oh, I can only afford one thing of potato. Soil. Useful in making roads and flower pots and other things. That's new. Wait, that's free? Holy crap, it's free. I wonder if that's intentional. Oh, well, might as well get. I'll buy the max because it's free. Why not? Uh, nothing else new. Can't plant anything else. Head back down. Hey, what are you doing here? Nothing's in the farm. Your hard work is potential changes town. I'm counting on you. Hey, I got mail. New items have arrived. Stop by and check out the selection. Get here early before they run out. Uh, that's about the same. Says it's the season for rice planting, but I don't have the option to plant, plant um, uh, uh, I don't, I don't have the option to plant rice. Actually, she didn't sell it. Uh, new crop seeds have arrived. New items arrived. Congratulations, try your skill at bug catching is recognized. We grant you the title of novice catcher. We hope you continue enjoy catching bugs. Count as okay, yeah, it does. Didn't say anything about shipping. Actually, where's the shipping bin? It's very important. I don't know where the heck that is. Oh, well, where's my potatoes? Oh, might as well plant one more turnip. And oh, where's my water? Ah, there you are. Get water. Yeah, I don't think the diner's set up yet. Actually, I don't think there's a diner in town.
Okay, I think that's good for for now. I don't, I don't want to completely do it. Although I still would like to know where the heck the shipping bin is. Can't make money without a shipping bin. Where's the where the heck is the shipping bin? Is this a shipping bin? Oh, this is the shipping bin. Yeah. Oh, and it tells you immediately how much it costs. See that? That's that's the star quality. That's how qual that's how good the, good the um quality of the product is and that's how much money you can expect to get from it that's good to know the other ones don't the other harvest moons they keep it hidden so you have to figure out on your own how much money you make off of them I really like that that's gonna come in handy so you know what's worth um, selling and whatnot uh, let's see so you wow those stuff before you get keys so you so a whole bunch of insects coma butterfly how many butterflies are in this game might as well sell them all pretty sure they they're meant to be sold. So, uh, I won't make any money off of it, but we'll sell ship, ship one just to have one shipped. Same thing with weed. Ship one rock. Ship one branch. Ship one moon. Ship one you. Ship you. Uh, ship one you. There, yeah, I like to ship one of everything because it just fills up your inventory. I um, mean, it fills up your your recipe sheet or your your data sheet. What's that? She's not home. I guess it's in in, in assets back at home. I can look at that later. Cool, that should be quite a bit of money. Although she hasn't said anything about uh, how shipping works. But she said she gives me my money the next day, so I'm wondering if I can ship it whenever. Because the other games, you had to make sure you have your item shipped before 5 o'clock, before 4 o'clock, otherwise, you don't get any money at all. Okay, well, uh, since I still have time left in the day, even though I'm tired, I'm going to collect more stuff. In the earlier the game, it's wise to just forage and gather all the random stuff you find in the wild because you have no money in the beginning and you have no crops yet. Oh no animals, so you're not building an income, so in order to build an income it's wise to forage and gather stuff so you can start uh, making money and whatnot. Oh honeybee. I'm gonna assume you can make honey with those. But yeah, it's wise to just send out everything because to build up and build up income so that way you can start selling more start growing and selling more crops and I think it's scrap metal doing in there some kids gonna come in and cut himself and get tetanus yeah you build up you build up money and income by however way you can and then uh, once you get the income income going and you got lots of crops and lots of animals like cows and whatnot, then you can, you don't have to worry about foraging 
as much. You can s spend more of your time um, going talking to like villagers and whatnot. But in the beginning, it's just yeah. Again, it's just wise to just spend all your time foraging.